has not been touched in like three months. My auntie did these braids before I had surgery on August the August something, but she only did like re like she redid like two or three of them. But most of these braids are well, were from July when I first injured myself. So yes, I've had my hair braided because I wasn't able to do anything with my hand injury and then the surgery so my edges have been just girl i don't know i think they're depleted because i had that cap on and it the elastic part was like right here so i don't know if we're gonna see but i'm also gonna show you guys a boot who was that girl was it a bug look at this this is a mess look at this Okay, so my hair is like Christmas. It's just white and dust snow all over my hair And so this is my detangling process. Actually, this is the wrong way to detangle So I'm using my repair conditioner and I'm going to do what you call a pre-poo So I'm going to first dampen my hair not like drenching you know but just like damp enough to actually get moisture and I'm going to just use some conditioner and I'm, yeah, I lost hair, but yeah, that's just expected for wash day. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a pre-poo and pre-condition my hair so that I can detangle it. And that, it, it actually cuts down on breakage when you're in the shower and, you know, actually detangling your hair. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm also using the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner because this stuff really helps to detangle and soften up my hair, especially my roots. So I'm just putting it all over, just lathering all of my tresses like because it needs some moisture some blessed oil some holy water or something and all through there it is like matted like you can see where the new growth is and that's crazy because my hair is literally braided up for months so yeah we're gonna just do this until I feel that it's soft enough to go ahead and shampoo and then detangle in the shower as well I've lost I guess that's a little hair that's not really much but I mean that's expected but I was surprised that it wasn't more so getting into my wash routine this is the Manuka honey and yogurt hydrate repair conditioner from Shea Moisture and this is the daily clarifying shampoo from Suave this was like two dollars from Family Dollar and this is the best for um, clarifying your hair like really getting it clean and this is the Everstray Brazilian conditioner from organics this stuff is amazing and it really softens up your hair and it provides keratin in it and this is key for a silk press if you're going to do that so in this video I'm not going to do a silk press but in my one of my next ones I will so I'm just washing my hair with the um, cleansing shampoo and that's what that's the difference between a cleansing clarifying shampoo and a conditioning shampoo a clarifying shampoo strips your hair of all of the oils which is not a bad thing, you know, when you're actually trying to clean it because you do want all of those products and build up out of your hair, especially if you're going to do a silk press. So after that, then I do conditioner. And then I'm actually going to section my hair because my hair is like kinky, honey. So it's, it's really hard to get the conditioner all over each strand of your hair when you're just washing it as a whole unit. So I just separate it into four big sections or however many I can do before I, my arms get tired. As you can see, I'm slowing down because, girl, I'm tired. And so I'm just using my nails to part a section and then I'm, I'm detangling with a Denman brush. And I'm starting at the ends first. Of course, you always start with your ends when you're detangling. That cuts down on breakage as well. And then I'm actually like uh, preparing it for you know the ponytail and that's how it's actually going to dry. So now I've rinsed the conditioner out of my ponytails and slash twists. Half of these are going to be twists and half are going to be braids. For those of you who can't braid, so I felt like doing something for you guys who can twist. 
you can still get this blowout with the twist. So after I twist it, I just let it air dry, of course, and I try to, you know, rinse out the, all of the shampoo and everything, and then just go ahead and let it dry like this. And then that way my roots will be flat, and then you end up with this. This is a blowout, it's really soft, and I can, you know, run my fingers through my hair. And the back is the braid, and the front is the twist, so I want to show you guys the difference. Now, in this clip, you can tell the difference between my face and my neck. I hate it, and I will be going to get some skin treatments to get one tone. So I just want to throw that in there. But anyway, you know, I'm adding my Dew Girl oil for my hair, and as you can tell, like, there really is no difference between that back braid and then the twist. Like either way it goes, your hair is going to look like this if you let it um, dry overnight. But all you do is apply oils and a few conditioners or a conditioner and then you end up with your hair blown out like this. Okay, and as an update, I did lose some edges because of the wig cap that I had. The elastic net, like it literally sat right there the whole time. But on this side, we were good. So it was thicker on that side. So that's fine. I'm just going to keep using my Dugor oil and let my hair rest and also do my daily scalp massages and it's really just kind of balled up in one spot that's kind of why it even looks worse but yeah it just kind of you know kind of looks a little raggedy right now you know what I'm saying but you know that's what edge filler is for I do have two videos of when I really lost my edges and I was bald because it got to be blue and yeah this is the net that I was explaining that literally sat there and depleted my edges so if you want to keep your edges, please do not just wear wig caps all the time, okay? Give your hair a break. So that's really it for the update. I haven't straightened yet, straightened my hair yet, so I don't know the exact length, but it looks like it has grown to where it was last year. So I just, you know, want to do this hair update. And then next I'm going to add a little bit more conditioner to kind of make it softer because it felt a little dry. And to get the really good blown out look, add a little conditioner and then you can actually run your brush through your ends like this and then you won't have breakage. And then you can go directly to your neck styles or you know your dry hairstyles or if you want to, you can use a, a water bottle and then do like a curly style like that without having to have your whole hair drenched. But yeah, it's still, you know, kind of thick there, so. I don't think that I lost any hair. I don't think that it's like super damaged since my last big chop. next you can do hairstyles like this from that blowout that I just did so check out my previous video where I showed how to do this cute low twisted bun and how to sleek my edges as well and I do have several other hair tutorials from the past from this year actually like this um, flat twist out and also this curly high puff and a crinkled type curly puff too from your braids and a flat twist so check out my previous videos I'll link the playlist above